Four years ago, I shared my first game on Threat. It was a platformer with an exciting and completely original name, The Ball Jumps. When I shared it, I got some of my first comments. So fun, nice, and me better? Well today, I will be remaking The Ball Jumps to see if it really can be better. Now subscribe, and let's get right into it. So I started out by deleting the default sprite and creating a new one for the player. I chose the ball, like in the original, and then I painted just a simple line on the ground so that I could start making some physics for the game. I programmed some basic platformer physics. Nothing too interesting, I decided to use the arrow keys, which I think I later changed to WASD. Next I added a trail that follows the ball, like in the original game. And then, I created a new level with a spike. And I programmed it so that when you touch a spike, you'll die and respawn. And that works perfectly. I imported all the levels from the original game, and I remade the first one. I decided that to make the game look more different from the original, I would add shadows, so here I tried a bunch of different shadows until I decided on this one, which I like. Then I went through each of the original levels and remade them. This took a while, but in the end they turned out looking really nice. And there we go! In the original game, there's this intro. I decided that I definitely wanted to remake that as well. I started by creating a version of my logo that would look nice in the intro. And then I started to remake the intro itself. This took a while to program. And here it is so far. But there is also the second part to do. So I'm, next I imported the music. It's copyrighted so I can't play too much, but here's a little bit. So anyway, I started to make the thumbnail, which is also used in the second part of the intro. I decided to make it say the ball jumps again to make it more different. And then I continue to program the intro. While I'm finishing the intro, why don't you like the video and subscribe to my channel now? It's free and it helps out way more than you think. Now back to the video. And, and here it is. I also made it so that you can change the color of the ball. And finally, the game is finished. There will be a link in the description if you want to play it for yourself. Now here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two games. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 